What's up guys, Blue Collar Boys, back at you. Today we're gonna to be doing tool belt tours. Right now I got my oxes and leather bags on. The best bags in the industry. Mark's getting his, uh, his bag. Oh, box, boys. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, kind of the homeowner variety, uh, Home Depot brand. And, uh, but we're gonna go through uh, kind of what we both have in our bags, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, what's up guys, this is my setup. I'm apprenticing to be a general contractor. So uh, I guess we'll start with the actual belt. This is kind of a Frankenstein belt per se. Uh, the actual belt, I think it's a three inch deluxe framers from Coonies, I'm pretty sure. It also has my, uh, my tape measure pouch straight in the back. I used to have the bags, uh, they came down pretty far. I didn't like them, they didn't have much storage. I donated them to Mark for his home build course uh, for school, <laughs> but uh, these kind of, Straight away from that right now. I don't think he has his pouch here, so he's improvising with that one. But this is what I used on the daily. I found when I first started contracting, I was I had my belt and I had my little uh, pouch full of tools, and then I tailor my bag to the job I was doing. But I found out that every day I was basically putting the same shit in the bag because <laughs> we're doing a lot of renos and remodeling and. Uh, so this is kind of what I settle down to. I keep this in my bag, nothing ever uh, comes or goes. I mean, if I need something, I'll put it in, but this is kind of kind of what I put in. So I'll show you that now and uh, we'll get to that. So these are my bags. These are the Occidental Leather, uh, I'm really, I think they're finishing bags. I love these because when you're going through studs and rafters and you're pulling yourself up, they, they're so uh, slim to your body that you don't get stuck, but they're still, uh, they kind of open up so you can still get your, uh, your hands in, so uh, I guess we'll start with the uh, my fastener pouch. So this is my fastener pouch. I got uh, you know quite a bit of tools, so I guess we'll start here. I, I usually keep my main fastener here. I think last job we were doing uh, got some roofing nails to put up some siding. These are the extra long ones because we had to go through an inch of foam. And then the back here, I got some galvanized nails and some just a whole bunch of different ones. These were uh, for. Uh, some joist hangers. Up front, we got a nail puller. This, uh, I think I paid 20, no, 15 bucks for it. It's a piece of junk. <laughs> I, I bent it straight by accident. I was pulling, uh, I think some soffit down. Uh, I keep it up front. It fits nice here. And then I got my beefy DeWalt one here. Uh, it's good to beat on. I love this thing. It's pretty nice. And this pouch here, this little side pouch, I got a few tools. First thing is essential. Little sharpener. People do your, uh, use their knives to sharpen the pencils. I like mine with my sharpener. Uh, comes to a nice point like that. Mark, you want to hold that for a sec? The next thing in here, <laughs> if I can get my hand down. I just picked this up a few days ago. It was on sale. It's a DeWalt laser uh, measurer. It goes up to 50 feet. I no, got, don't know how that works. I got a 26 foot tape measure that I use, but. Sometimes it's just not long enough. This thing measures to the sixteenth of an inch. Guys, so I just want to say I'm not a huge DeWalt fan, but this tool is sweet. Like I mean, all I do is turn it on. Shows you it's got the laser. So if I point there, shows you how far away it is to the sixteenth. That's crazy. So that's <laughs> great. And like a twenty-five or twenty-six foot uh, tape measure won't reach that far. Quick little go. Yeah, beautiful thirty-two on the dot. It's it, it comes to handy a lot. I didn't think I used that much, but I use it quite a bit. It's rechargeable, doesn't have batteries. Beautiful. Milwaukee, if you see this, make sure you come up with something like that, because I'm not a DeWalt guy, but that tool is pretty sweet, I have to admit. In this pouch, uh, Oxygen Leather does a nice little job with this. Speed Square Spot. Uh, this is uh, aluminum alloy square, pretty nice. I got this at uh, Princess Auto, another 10 bucks. I love this one. Goes right in between the bags. It's not going to be flopping around. It just, it's just, uh, it's a nice little feature that uh, I know some bags have, like uh, I believe Diamondback uh, bags have them, but I'm not too sure, but uh, it's just great. So if you're going to buy a pouch, always, this is one thing I'm going to do for, like, for now on. I'm never going to buy a pouch without a dedicated speed square uh, slot. Once I've had it, I can't live without it. It's just, it's beautiful. So anyways, that's, uh, that's, what goes there and the next thing my normal gave me yeah, that's a, a plumb bob uh, a lot of guys don't use it anymore but i find i use these quite a bit when i'm plumbing up walls or when i was doing siding over top of a window and top bottom have to match use this bad boy they come in handy quite a bit so i definitely recommend that 
And I think that's it for this little guy's pouch. So up here, I got my Milwaukee ratcheting screwdriver. It's okay, I definitely, uh, I buy it again. Just that the teeth are, it's quite a bit. There's one I really want. I forget what the brand. I'm not too sure, but it's just, it blows the Milwaukee out of the water per se, but uh, this, it works good. It does what it's supposed to do. Can't complain, it was, how much was it? There? It was like 20 bucks 20 at Home bucks. Depot. That's where I got it. <laughs> uh, back here, I got my little, uh, my little level. Uh, print this auto, <laughs> 10 bucks. That's what it's supposed to do. See, checks for level. Got the magnets on the bottom. It's, uh, what can I say, it's a level. It's, it's no Stabella, <laughs> uh, maybe one day, but. Then I got inside my the big pouch. I keep uh, keep my nail gun and everything, uh, rails, and I also got some some green top nails. But these bad boys are thirty degree galvanized nails, uh, good for using uh, pressure treated wood. But these bad boys are expensive. These are pass load. We use pass mm -hmm. load nailers at uh, my work. I was supposed to get a Dewalt uh, thirty degree frame nailer. That's not coming in. Uh, so I might get the Milwaukee one. What happened to that? I'll tell you after. <laughs> then uh, coming to the back, I got my uh, Occidental leather tool sheet. And in that, I keep a piece of junk, <laughs> Princess Auto uh, nice chisel. And, nice and rusty. It's, <laughs> this is brand new a few months ago. I don't know if it was coated or not, but it's it's been it's rusted, but it does the job. It goes through nails. I was very surprised. Um, Goes to plaster. Uh, yeah, I just beat on it. It's my beater chisel. I'll keep that for a while until it goes. And then the final thing, I got my uh, nail set here. These are good for doing trim work. You gotta push in uh, doing trim. Put the nails in deeper, um, one over top. Stanley, it works. It, uh, none of this is top of the line except for the bags and the hammer. But <laughs> this is uh, it's a nail set. Not much to say about that. Zoom Going in the back here. There we go, zoomed out a little bit. I, in the Cooney's, uh pouch there i got my milwaukee tape now i do like my tape in the back per se to uh, up here just fine it's a lot easier but this is my milwaukee uh, wide blade 25 foot tape measure uh this thing a lot of people don't like milwaukee tape measures personally i didn't i never actually used one but when i started using this very smooth uh, i think it's got like a 13 foot stand up which is insane <laughs> 13, 14, it's got a 15 foot stand out. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good for a contracting uh, tape measure. Now the thing with this, I've dropped this, I was doing uh, some stuff on a roof and I dropped this two stories up on concrete five times in a matter of like 10 minutes. Has It cracked the bottom a bit, but it still works beautifully. So I, I was very impressed with this tape measure. So I definitely, I recommend that. That's the Milwaukee wide blade, 25 footer. Beautiful, but I hate this clip. <laughs> now, the creme de la creme, the best part about the bags. The old stiletto T-Bone 3 framing hammer. This thing is a beast. Uh, I actually got this as a gift uh, from Dario. His, uh, his stepfather uh, gave this to me. Very generous. Uh, it's just... Why don't you explain how good the stiletto is? The stiletto... In a perspective of why people think it's so expensive, but it's actually worth it, you know? This hammer is... 300 something dollars for a perspective of your standard hand or it might be 50 to 80 bucks but this is 300 it's titanium from head to heel from head to toe it's it's the it's 15 ounces your regular hammer is going to be 20 25 ounces and when you're swinging all day all that force and all that shock is going to be in your elbow and your shoulder i know a lot of guys on the job they've had your east wing with the blue handle Every time they're using that for a long period of time, this fatigue, I come in with my stiletto and just, <laughs> I, actually, I'll give you a story. My, uh, my boss, he has bad shoulders. Uh, he had an S-wing 20 ounce hammer. His uh, shoulders were hurting. I gave him this hammer. He used it the whole day. He loved it. So that's just a test. I don't want my shoulders and uh, my arms to uh, be bone on bone when i'm older so i, I definitely recommend yeah guys that's a super light hammer like I, he let me pick it up and like i mean like you, it's like a football you just throw it like Maybe it's so light starting off obviously it's a bit expensive i say try it out contracting for a month or two see if you like it and if you do purchase that right away it's yep. gonna save your arm it's it's you can't go without it <laughs>
On another side with the hammer, this is the hammer I used to rock when I first started. I think it's the extended handle S-Wing. I got it from my dad. If, how, how heavy is this? It might be 25 ounces. It's pretty heavy. We'll do a comparison for Mark. And just tell him how light that is. And yeah, I gotta say that is a lot lighter <laughs> than what, yeah. It's a beautiful you really, hammer, guys. You can really tell the difference between the two. 100%. One more thing, the uh, the face is replaceable. I did choose the uh, the flat face because we do finish work and uh, framing. I think I might get the milled face, change it every once in a while, but for now I'll just stick with that. Now we've got my side bag here. Uh, up front I usually keep my drill. I got the uh, dual atomic. Actually, if you want to do a separate video, <laughs> give this video 15 likes, very low. I'll do a full video on all the tools I have and I bring to the job site. I got a lot of stuff that Actually, my boss didn't even have, so <laughs> 10, 15 likes. We get that in about a month. We'll do that video. It should be pretty good. Um, up front, I usually keep my drill, like I said. Uh, in the side here, I just got my Irwin uh, chalk line. It's a piece of junk. Don't recommend this one. But if you do get one, I do recommend the side loaders. I, I'm not a fan of the top loader ones, but I mean, what can I say? It's a, it's a chalk line. It does what it does. And if you do... Try to get the blue chalk. The red one likes to stain uh, your work and the dark one or the black one also does. The blue might not be as easily uh, easy to see, but it doesn't stain the work, which I do like. In that pocket again, I keep my uh, DeWalt impact bits. Just a uh, quick change. I got more bits in my, uh, uh, my DeWalt case, but that's that in my pouch. Deep in the pocket, I do keep a notebook for measurements. Uh, I, I don't have the best short-term memory, so this is a lifesaver for me. Uh, I do a lot of cutting with my work, so I do have a Dwalt worm drive saw, no biggie, but I'll, if you wanna see that, check the video, uh, I forget those like, if we get the amount of likes. Uh, right here I got a little pencil slot. I keep a uh, Sharpie and a uh, Hilti uh, framing pencil, carpenter's pencil, very nice. Uh, up front, I, I usually keep my, uh, my exacto knife, but I think it's in my coverall, so I got my uh, Dewalt. <laughs> Dual knife here. This thing cost like 19 bucks. It also came with a multi tool at Home Depot. It was like a sale, but there's that. Use that to cut the box and stuff. Not really on the job, but that goes in there usually. Next, I got my knife packs, uh, side dikes, uh, side cutters. I didn't want to buy them, but Dario kind of forced me to. <laughs> but I recommended them. These things are great. I love them uh, for cutting nails, pulling nails out. I actually cut an each drop nail. Uh, they're both that long per se and like quarter inch, half inch thick. So pretty, uh, pretty good. And uh, if you go to the light, they're, they're sealed beautifully. I actually love these. Good purchase. Yeah, if you guys watch a toolbox series, you know that I actually have a couple <laughs> pairs of those, and they're like the best side cutters you can get. They're a little more expensive, but next thing I do have a um, uh, punch. This is different from my nail set because this thing is. Uh, if I'm, you know, reaching up and I can't quite swing my hammer fully, I'll just put this on a nail and tap that in. It's different. It just really sinks uh, small nails in to baseboard and trim and stuff. But this is for bigger stuff. This is a Snap-on punch. Uh, I know Snap-on's a lower quality brand, but... Oh, nice job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's a punch. does what it does. I usually keep a spare pencil in here. But, uh, in my overalls, we're doing a job today. Last thing, or the second last thing, I keep a coast light. Uh, this is great for addicts. Uh, I was put in a sun tunnel a few weeks ago. Beautiful. Put that in my mouth. Had to tape it all up. Works great. Uh, I know the Milwaukee one is a lot brighter, but this is like 15 bucks, so <laughs> pretty good. And the last thing I keep in the back, a uh, little hammer holster, is my um, uh, my tin snips. Uh, these are, I think, a 45 degree angled tin snips. If you're gonna buy them, get the Wisp brand. Uh, don't buy the Milwaukee or the Wall. Uh, they don't last. These bad boys. Uh, I've had them for four or five months, doing a lot of soft bits, a lot of fascia, and these things, they last forever. They're still sharp as the day I got them. Uh, I love these things, and uh, that's basically all I carry. <laughs> it's, I know a lot of guys carry a lot more. Some guys carry a lot less. I find that this is a perfect weight balance for me. Straps. Oh, the straps. Yeah, these forgot are, to mention uh, those. I got these at Canadian Tire. I believe they're Cooney straps. Yep. Uh, I like these because... The front are ballistic nylon, so they don't stretch at all. But the back ones do stretch, so it's kind of a safety feature. 
if these buckles break, it's not going to come back, hit you in the eye. Uh, but they do have a bit of stretch to them. And I think, I think I covered everything. Um, if I do any bad anything, take anything away, I might do a, uh, another video to show you guys. But Mark's going to come and uh, show you guys his belt. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for the video. What you need to know, we'll have your own small engine business. <laughs> Right now? Yep. Okay. What's going on, guys? Uh, this is the uh, one pouch, you know, doing some knickknacks around the house, I guess. You know, nothing special, but. So, to start us off, you know, Ryan was telling you guys about the S Wing hammer. Um, I mean, it is a great hammer to start off with, but if you were to get into contracting, I guess you would definitely want to get the stiletto. But, I mean, for what you're going to be using it for, I mean, it's a great hammer for what it is. It is a great hammer. Second thing, we got a uh, speed square. I um, didn't tell them my speed square. <laughs> Do you have it? Yeah, fucker. <laughs> yeah, go. Go. I don't, I don't know what it's for. Basically, guys, it's kind of what a carpenter rig looks like in a homeowner's rig. If we add anything, take anything away, or get new belts, we're definitely going to update you guys. Um, if you want to see the Snap On Toolbox Tour that Dario by the camera reviewed, check out our other channel, everything but that. Link's going to be in the description. That video, it's actually pretty popular. I think it was number one on Toolbox Tour reviews, so pretty proud of that. You know, Daryl will really work hard. <laughs> uh, but I think that's it. Signing off, Blue Collar Boys. See you next video.